Hello guys, it's Noka here and welcome to the second part of my 3D fire tutorial in the Godot engine. Today we are going to add a smoke effect as well as some little sparks above the flames. So let's get right into it. The first thing we will want to do is to rename our particles node to flames. Now we want to duplicate it and rename the duplicate to smoke. Then we move this new node into the flames node as a child. Now in the new smoke node, we want to reduce the amount to 50. Then we go to the draw passes and we make the first pass unique. The same goes for its material, we want to make it unique. In the material, we want to go to parameters and set the blend mode to mix. We want each smoke particle to be visible for a longer time. To do this we go under the time section and increase the lifetime. I like it to be around 1.5, so let me set that. Now we need to set a new process material. So I will create a new particles material and here we can start designing our particle system. First of all, we want to disable gravity, so we set its Y to 0. To get the smoke particles moving upward, we need to change the direction. I will set it to 0 on the X axis and to 1 on the Y axis. I will also reduce the spread down to 0. Now I'd like to give the particles some initial speed. To do that I go to initial velocity and I set it to 1 with a randomness of 0.5. Now I will move the smoke particles origin to somewhere here above the flames. Next I will set some linear acceleration. I like it to be around 2 and I will set a randomness of 1. We don't want the smoke particles coming from a single point but more from a zone above the flames. In order to do that we go to emission shape and we set the shape to a sphere by radius of Point three. The next thing we want to do is to set the scale of the particle. I will set the scale to 2 with a randomness of 1 and we want to define a new scale curve. In the scale texture we want to move the first point to around 0 0.5. We want the particles to vary a bit over time. To do that we need to enable the animation that we have in the sprite sheet. So we set the speed to 1, the offset to 1, and the offset random to 1 as well. We want each particle to start at a random angle. To do that we set the angle to 360 with a randomness of 1. I also like to give the particles some random spin. To do that we go to angular velocity, we set it to something around 40 with a randomness of 1. Another thing we want is to set some radial acceleration. I like it to be around 0.2 with a randomness of 1. This gets our particles going a bit away from the fire. Last but not least, we need to define a color ramp for our particles. We go to the color section, define a new color ramp and we will set a new gradient texture. I already made one and it will be available in the description. Of course you could make your own and tweak it, make the fire blue or whatever. For example, I think that the smoke is a bit too transparent right now. So I will go to my gradient, select this point and change the color to increase the opacity a bit. Next we want to add a little sparks above the flames. So we create a new particles node as a child of flames and we name it Sparks. We want to set the amount to 80. We want to set a new draw pass. So we make a new quad mesh and we want um, the size to be 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 and we want to define a new material. This material we check uh, transparent and unshaded and under albedo we want to 
use a spark texture that will be in the description. Uh, under parameters, we want to set the billboard mode to particles billboard and the blend mode to add. And in vertex color, we want to check use as albedo. Under drawing, we want to set the draw order to view depth and uncheck local coordinates. Under the time section, we want to set the lifetime to 0.5 and set the randomness to 1. Now we want to define a new process material to start designing the particle system. So I define a new particles material and when we are at it, uh, we need to move the particle node origin somewhere about here. Uh, so first of all, we disable gravity. Next, the emission shape should be set to a sphere of a radius of 0.6. We want some initial velocity, so I will set it to 2 with a randomness of 1. We want the particles to be going upwards, so I set the direction x to 0 and its y to 1. I want to set the spread to 40 and the flatness to 0.24. Now we want to define the scale of the particles. So under scale, we set the scale to 0.1, the randomness to 0.3, and we define a new scale curve. In the scale texture, we want to add a third point. The first point should be set to 0.5, the third should be around one, and in the middle, and the last point should be set to zero. Next, under trail, we want to set the divisor to five. We want to set the linear acceleration to five with a randomness of one. The same goes for tangential acceleration. We want to set it to five with a randomness of one. The damping should be set to two with a randomness of one. And uh, last but not least, we want to set a color ramp once again, so we define a new color ramp and I already have made a gradient texture, so it will be in the description. And here you go, you have your simplifier with sparks and smoke. Uh, be sure to play around with it and tweak it as you want. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, uh, write them down in the comments and thanks for watching. I hope I helped you and see you next time.